Well, let's jump into our storm tracker radar where we're mainly dry. We've got some ground clutter coming in off the radar beam, but we also have some legitimate showers that are showing up along the immediate coast. Dauphin Island, uh, Gulf Shores, and south of Pensacola. And you can see the heavy pockets of rain, but there is no lightning with any of this. It's just heavy downpours located in certain spots. South of Pensacola, also one coming in uh, right to the south of Perdido Key, and another one just to the north of State Highway 180 in the southern part of Mobile Bay. But the heaviest shower is this one right here located just to the south of Gulf Breeze proper uh, and actually look at that a lightning strike just popped up so if you live in Pensacola and are looking to the south you can see that thunderstorm in the sky same thing if you're around Gulf Breeze to Navarre or Garson Point uh, this is the three mile bridge that separates uh, Pensacola from Gulf Breeze proper this is the Garson Point toll bridge and Navarre at US 98 so if you look in the south sky you can pick up that storm it's easing its way on shore but typically this early in the morning once these storms get on shore they weaken tremendously, but if you're right along the immediate beaches from Pensacola Beach, Gulf Breeze to Navarre, uh, you have the best chance to see a thunderstorm this morning. Now, the rain chance in general is going to be 40%. The pattern has not changed and will not change through the weekend. Southerly flow continues to pump in muggy, humid air, and you combine that humidity with high temperatures in the 90s, and the air is going to get unstable enough to warrant the chance of storms. In the early morning hours, south of I-10 is going to have the best chance for rain. In the afternoon, it's going to be primarily more inland locations. As far as the temperatures right now, it's mainly in the lower 70s. Mobile, you're at 72. Pascagoula at 70. Theodore in downtown at 74. Fort Morgan, uh, or Fairhope, excuse me, coming in at 71. We have lower 70s up and down State Highway 59 from Loxley to Gulf Shores. Perdido Key, you're at 78. Pensacola, Right now, you're coming in with a temperature of 74. And this is the coastal shower I was showing you earlier. The future cast has picked that up, but it doesn't show much happening between now and midday. Many spots are going to remain dry with a mix of sun and clouds. But beginning at noon, that's when we're going to start to see showers and storms forming on shore in random spots. The coverage gets better by the time we hit 2 o'clock in the afternoon, but then late in the afternoon, they start to get strong. For the drive home at 5 o'clock, we could really see the heavy downpours and the tremendous amounts of lightning, and the thunderstorms that form on shore late in the afternoon are going to track from the east to the west. So those of you around Milton and Pensacola and eastern Baldwin County could get a very strong thunderstorm by 7 o'clock this evening, and then as it approaches the eastern shore by 9, it starts to weaken and fade away, and we will be primarily dry and quiet beginning at 11 o'clock tonight and lasting through first thing tomorrow morning. So your high this afternoon going to be 91 inland, 87 south of I-10 with scattered storms. Rain chance today, 40%. The storms weaken once we head in towards the nighttime hours. Lows will be between 70 and 74, and your winds will go calm. Up on the seven-day planner, we're expecting to stay very consistent through the weekend, although Saturday and Sunday the number of storms will be a little greater in advance of a front. But look what happens next week. We start to move into a drier trend. Tuesday's rain chance falls to 20%, and then Wednesday we should end up mainly dry. But no fall air yet, Eric, but it will be here eventually. All right.